Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video, let's talk about the permanent price drop on these uh, Asus Zenfone uh, devices. And just two days ago, Asus announced a permanent price drop on all their Zenfones. And I'm actually uh, particularly excited about the Zenfone Max Pro M2 that came with the Snapdragon 660 SoC. Now you can have it for 10,000 rupees. And at that price point, it changes the entire equation. So I was just uh, doing a little bit of maths and it becomes very interesting. Earlier, if you recall the Zenfone Max Pro M2 and all the Zenfones have a price drop, I'll talk about that, but I'm particularly excited about this one, the Zenfone Max Pro M2. Earlier, when the Zenfone Max Pro M2 came and I did my review, uh, the base variant that came uh, with three gigabytes of RAM was priced at 13,000, but now it, you can have it for 10,000 rupees. And the four gigabyte RAM model was for 15,000 when I reviewed it, but now it has also got a price drop of 12,000 and also the six gigabyte variant and got a price drop and earlier it was 17,000 now it's at 14,000 and at uh, 10,000 now it changes the en entire equation in my frank opinion uh, because I feel uh, uh, this Zenfone Max Pro M2 now at 10,000 rupees it's even better than the Realme 2 Pro in fact if you recall I had done a camera comparison with the Realme 2 Pro about a month ago and the Zenfone Max Pro overall did uh, better and I feel it's even better than the new Samsung Galaxy M30 yes the M30 has a super AMOLED screen but apart from that overall if you look at the picture the Zenfone Max Pro M2 makes a lot more sense at 10,000 rupees and just yesterday I had got this uh, Redmi Note 7 had unboxed it and stuff and I really like what Xiaomi did with this Redmi Note 7 but uh, if we compare it side by side I feel the this Zenfone Max Pro M2 is slightly more practical it has slightly bigger battery life and also in terms of camera if you recall just watch the unboxing video of this one I feel the camera is going to be slightly better on this uh, Zenfone Max Pro M2 compared to the Redmi Note uh, 7 again if you guys really want a side by side camera comparison to let me know I'll try to do that and also this there is that situation of that ad situation with the Mi UI that's a real thing that uh, users need to know so I feel at 10,000 rupees uh, this really makes a lot of sense now I like the fact that it comes with the Snapdragon 660 SoC so it's a very powerful processor you can play all your favorite games like PUBG etc also it has that 5000 milliamp hour battery and also that almost stock Android experience that you are getting that many people like and also this is the only device in this price range that comes with the Gorilla Glass 6 so I feel it's a very good buy now at 10,000 rupees now uh, the earlier Zenfone Max Pro M1 also so got a permanent price cut this was launched till last year if you guys recall it got a price drop and it was for, for the three gigabyte uh, ram variant was for 10000 rupees now the price has fallen down to 8500 rupees and for the four gigabyte uh, ram variant uh, it was for 12000 and now it's at 10500 rupees so uh, this also is a good phone now if you're on a very tight budget like 8500 i feel it's a good phone it's yeah having the snapdragon 636 soc it's decent for the price of 8500 uh, it still has that uh, 5000 milliamp hour battery which is actually really good in my frank opinion and also that stock android ui i always have complained about the camera on these uh, zenfone max pro m1 but many users have said that with the latest update it has improved and also it has support of gcam so if you install that gcam then the camera is really good so at 8500 i feel it's a really good device and uh, i feel this is in fact better than even the samsung galaxy m10 now at 8500 rupees so a good one and uh, the flagship uh, zenfone uh, 5g also got a price drop drop uh, permanent price drop this is their flagship uh, uh, this is the Zenfone 5G as you can see that glass back premium build quality and stuff Snapdragon 845 and this was priced at um, the base variant that came with 6 gigabytes of RAM and 64 GB of storage was earlier at 30,000 now it gets a price drop of 5,000 rupees permanently and it's at 25,000 there is all the other variant also that came with 6 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of internal storage that was at 33,000 now that gets a price drop uh, and it's at 28,000 so I feel it's it's still a very good buy at 25,000 Snapdragon 845. It has that, uh, what do you say, true dual speakers, which is surprisingly not found in any smartphone in that price range that really makes a difference. Also, it has great performance. It's already got the Android Pie update uh, on it, and it actually has improved the performance of the device. And also, it's a very stylish device. So. Uh, at 25,000, I feel uh, the Zenfone 5Z is a good buy. And also the Zenfone Max M2, which came with the Snapdragon uh, uh, 
uh, 632 SOC also got a price cut. The earlier 3 gigabyte RAM variant uh, that came with 32 GB of storage was for 10,000. Now it's for 8,500. And the 4 gigabyte 64 GB variant of the Zenfone Max M2 was for 12,000, and that gets a price cut, and that's now also at 10,500. So these were the Zenfones, and I'm particularly excited about the Zenfone Max Pro M2. The base variant now you can get at 10,000 rupees, and I feel it's a great value at 10,000 rupees. Uh, guys, regarding the Android Pie update, the Zenfone Max Pro M2 and even the uh, M1 have already got the Android Pie beta. Uh, what do you say? Rollout is actually going on. You can download the beta, but uh, I will definitely mail ASUS officials uh, to get info about when will the actual what do you say stable Pie update be coming out on these devices. I'll email them, and whenever I get an official response guys i will uh, post about that on my twitter handle at kiki ranjit anyways guys that's it for now for this video thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys